Welcome everyone, this is Trevor from Stealth Crab Boats. We're out here playing with an 1860 Stealth Weld Mod V today. Awesome video coming for you guys. Bunch of sweet pictures and just little snippets there for you. Did a lot of running in this boat. It's just an awesome, awesome build. Let's just start it off with that D. Young veil. Derek does just an amazing job every single time. All his artwork looks so amazing on these boats. It's just so hard to beat that sweet, sweet D. Young rat, man. Just a beauty. We had the spider webbing and the splatter paint match that color with the green, the blues. Rocco did a great job with that as well. But let's go over some options real quick. Of course, we're going to start off on the front with our anchor arm, those rough country headlights, the powered anchor system coming up here, big 50-pound anchor. Minn Kota Trova trolling motor this Trova has the mega down imaging on the troller itself you can see that transducer right there that is hooked up to this hummingbird helix 9 on the front deck you have that casting brace it's removable take that thing out and you can stand up on top of that deck or you have your leveled platform up here on the xxl deck with a nice bunk seat with our tempera seat on top of that Two hatches on the deck itself for the storage underneath. One hatch on the front facing deck for storage under that as well. Really hard to beat that flip up windshield, especially in a day like today when it's kind of rainy and it's snow and it's cold. It's just so nice to have. Flip that thing right up, see it nice and warm. We're going to come back into our interior station. You can see our center console here with another Hummingbird Helix 9 on top. We got the patch panel on the other side. You can see all the different switches. There's LEDs under every single tray, LEDs on the back, fully lit up. You can see we have the two Western trays coming with the rod storage underneath on both rod storage going into the front deck on top. We got a Yeti 45 cooler here for the rowers box. Some nice standard oars on this thing. So you can slide that cooler up to the center console and either row or just kind of some guys will put their knees up on it and drive. Nice thing about that is you can just slide it back, row when you want to, slide it back when you want to drive. Coming back on the rear deck, you can see we have three temper seats. We have some float pods on the rear itself as well. We have the tempresses on the bunk. We have the one, two, three seating with some tempresses as well. Big hatch for your gas tank and to the party end, this Mercury. 11580 jet power in this beast of a boat just an awesome awesome whip gotta love that wrap oh my goodness d young just does an amazing job every single time all of our artists here that we have we're so lucky to work with them they make these boats really come alive and just put that custom stamp of your own when you get to pick out the artwork that you want on it so if you guys have any questions about this boat, maybe something in particular, you want something that looks as sweet as this, maybe you want to do something your own, we can definitely try and help you out here at Stealth Craft Boats. We absolutely love doing these big jet sled builds to our drift boats and rafts. That's why we do it. So please feel free to give us a call. Please send us some messages if you have any questions, and we'd love to build your next dream boat for you. So, thanks for the time today. We'll have a bunch of pictures and videos for you about this whip. If you have any questions, please contact us. Have yourselves a great day, and thank you for watching.